Hello. Due to the parametric nature of SOLIDWORKS, regenerating a long feature tree may cause the performance delays. In this video, I will demonstrate the approach of batching the rebuild operation into one to avoid performance issues. Here I have a sample model of the conveyor, which I want to modify by changing some parameters. In this video, I will increase the speed of rebuild operation five times, but you can see the real timing in the top right corner of your screen. So you can see this operation took 32 seconds to regenerate. So let me continue and modify a few more dimensions. Because those two features are in the beginning of the tree and all the consecutive features have a dependency on that, modifying of the dimension in this one causing the regeneration of the whole tree. So that's why it's taken that long. I will also modify the distance of the extrude by modifying the definition of both extrude feature. This model has some in-context relation which I want to modify, so I'm going to edit the sketch in the beginning of the tree and remove the in-context relation and replace it with a dimension. As this sketch drives on other features, it also causing the whole tree to regenerate. Finally, I want to cut out some materials from the model. I'm just going to draw a couple of rectangles, align them with edges. And call extrude cut command. Because this feature is at the end of the tree, rebuild operation will not take long time. As a result, the wall operation took us almost four and a half minutes, where almost three minutes just rebuild operations. Solars has an option to enable a feature freeze for feature manager tree, so features will not be regenerated. So let's try that approach. So I'm just going to freeze the wall tree. But unfortunately, in that mode, you cannot modify the dimensions or you cannot modify the definitions of the tree. So you can see it says that it is not allowed and as well as edit definition button is not available. Let me demonstrate you another approach. So in this case, I'm going to use a free and open source geometry plus plus add-in and it has a button called suspend rebuild. When this button is enabled, all rebuild operation in the model will be suspended until that button is disabled. So let me demonstrate that. I click Suspend Rebuild. I'm going to do exactly the same steps which I did in previous video. So I'm going to set that to 10 millimeters, And you can see I don't have a rebuild operation. So my feature tree has a rebuild mark telling me that it is not rebuilt. And you can also see that my geometry has not been updated because rebuild operation is disabled. But I can modify the dimensions. So for example, this one I'm going to put to 700 millimeters. So as you can see, I don't spend the time on rebuild as rebuild doesn't happen. So I can also modify the definition of the feature. So set it to 150 millimeters. So one limitation is all the features below that modified feature become suppressed. I can also modify the sketch. Just select, edit sketch, remove sketch relation, add dimension. You can also see that Geometry++ plus plus displays the number of suppressed rebuild operations. So here we have seven rebuilds have been suppressed. So now I just want to make this rebuild in a batch. So I disable suspend rebuild and click rebuild button. And now as you would expect, the wall operation would took about 30 seconds instead of two and a half minutes as it was in previous step. You can even create new features in suspend rebuild mode. So now I'm going to create that sketch and cut extra material from my model. So in the same way, I'm going to add two collinear relations and add the cut extrude feature.
So as you can see, we have completed that operation in about more than two minutes. So we managed to save uh, more than two minutes on rebuild time with that approach. This functionality is also provided in the form of a macro if you cannot install add-in by any reasons. So please follow the links in the description of this video for more information. Thank you for your time.